If you are thinking about replacing your siding anytime soon, here are a list of factors that could impact the cost. Obviously, the size of your house has a huge um, say in what the cost will be, but also the amount of doors and windows that will be wrapped in new trim affected, whether we will be replacing the soffit and fascia, whether the house is on a slope because uh, or whether uh, there are hard to reach areas that will require us to rent out new equipment. The products you select also affect the pricing, whether you will combine lap siding with shake siding or the board and batten look, they all render a different price. Whether we find any um, damage to the sheathing when we are removing the siding, and if we are not removing the siding, um, we also take into account our labor to make sure that the surface is even smooth and overall uh, adequate for um, the new installation of the siding. If any additions have made, been made to the home and perhaps they were not up to code and we have to make modifications to the framing or the surface so that we are able to install the siding without any bumps in our way or whatever, that will also drive up the cost. If any weird angles or the amount of gables also affect the cost. The amount of paint colors also impacts it. Sometimes people want three or four colors. Um, so that definitely impacts the quote. If the house is more than more than one story tall or there's more risk than um, that also factors into the cost. And I'm sure there are more factors, but these are the main ones that we look for when we are putting together a quote for your project.